But this gentleman here has a car battery strapped onto his back. He's trying to bite me. You're a warrior. He's got bugs in my eyes. Oof. I'm so glad we're off the bike. Look at that piece of chicken. <laughs> Yellow next to black, stay back. It's like, eat me. Is. <laughs> Renergy. Renergy, because your name's Renny. What am I doing with this really sharp knife? Well, Chenatan gave me this this morning uh, as a gift. He gave it to us to protect ourselves because today, Renny's taking me deep into the Nagaland jungle to go camping with someone he says is the Nagaland version of Bear Grylls. Yes. So I'm hoping that means we're going to be learning uh, survival techniques yes. and not drinking our own urine. Yeah, exactly. We never know what, we, what will happen in the we jungle. We never know what will happen in the jungle. Yes, exactly. We might eat some spiders again. Eat some spiders. I've, I've already eaten four spiders today, or and it's maybe, not even 10 a.m. Or maybe some snack snack. Yeah, or some snakes. Yeah, cobra. Some snake snacks. It's mad how you don't get a proper perspective of like how green and how much jungle there is in this state until you just start driving around and exploring. Uh, it just makes you think like what is out there, how much of it is unexplored. Hello? Okay, tell him. Sorry, brother. I've just arrived here and I've met my friend Roving Naga. Can you come say hello quickly? Yeah. Hello. Roving Naga also has his own YouTube channel. He's the Bear Grylls of Nagaland. I've been here for quite literally two minutes um, and he said, you're going to come to my house. I'm going to put a gun in your hand. You're going to shoot a chicken and then we're going to go into the jungle and we're going to eat it. So that's what I'm going to have to do now, I think. Whoa, that was a shot. In certain cultures, it's um, normal to do, to just shoot a chicken and then eat it. And that's why we travel and that's why we come to these places to do stuff like that. These roads are just, um, they're just getting worse and worse and roving, roving Nargis that we've still got like another 30 minutes. Now, when you've got an 80 kilo guy <laughs> and a 90 kilo guy on the same bike, things get a little bit hairy. You're gonna push? No, no. I'm gonna push it. Ha <laughs> 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 from, here, from here we have to walk. I've been on some really hectic roads in my life on a bike but I think that was the worst one it just kept going and kept going and kept going and now we're gonna walk how far 15 minutes around 15 minutes to a, to a campsite on the river I'm so glad we're off the bike this man is single-handedly the best moto rider in Nagaland thank you <laughs> <laughs> Keep the insects away. Yeah. Even mosquitoes. Yeah. Everything else. Wild animals. Yeah. yeah. Wild animals as well. Roving, you sure this isn't going to set fire to our tent, which no, is no, no, literally no. right above us? I don't want to be cut by this. You don't want to be cut by this, dude. No. We are looking for firewood. Um, I'm the least survivally survival guy ever. Um, and these guys are just absolutely wiping the floor with me when it comes to collecting wood. 
Brendan, we've just killed the third frog of the evening, which means you've got one each for dinner tonight. Yeah, one each for dinner tonight. One frog each. Ah, uh, the thing is, I've got my head torch on my head, but bugs just keep getting, getting, getting attracted to the head torch, and I've just got bugs in my eyes. And I still haven't found any fucking firewood. During the war, during the headhunting era, everyone will use this. This is a farmer thing, okay? Yeah. So right now you are a farmer. Yeah. And something happens, you are a warrior. I'm carrying a handful of bamboo, and Robin goes, Oh, before you pick up the bamboo, check inside for green vipers and spiders because they like to live in there. They like to live in the dead bamboo. And I immediately dropped all two pieces of bamboo that I was carrying at the time. And now I'm scared shitless. So. You see, this is why I'm telling you to check here. So that poisonous spider yeah. just came out of the, um, came out of the bamboo. Now I, I'm not gonna sleep tonight, which is great. I've just come over to our stuff and look how many moths are on all of our stuff. That is mental. So after driving on what was one of the worst roads I think I've ever been on or been a passenger on, uh, the chicken that I shot earlier at Roving's farm, he's now gonna show us how to cook that using nothing but bamboo and fire. Oof. Bamboo is a life-saving thing. Yeah. With bamboo you can cook, bamboo shoot you can eat, with bamboo you can build a hut, a shelter, in bamboo, you can make a fire, start a fire easily. So bamboo is, a, you know, like it's a life-saving material in jungle. It's a multi-tool. Yeah. They should basically only sell this at B and Q. So that's one piece. Yeah. So you can just cook right in that. Yeah. It's a local rice. So you just pull it this way. Pull it this way. Put it directly here. You cook rice and you have to put water, okay? The same chicken. Sorry, are you okay? The same chicken. <laughs> Sorry. We've been, we've been drinking out of bamboo things for the next <laughs> past few hours. The same chicken that I shot in the chest I'm eating out of a bamboo, out of a banana leaf that I cooked out of a bamboo shoot. And let's give it a taste. Bro. Excuse my language, but that's good. That's really, really good. I love it. I absolutely love it. It's so tasty. It's so good. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that piece of chicken. Thank you, boys. Thank you. Thank you, Mom. This video is sponsored by Odomos, <laughs> India's worst insect repellent. And it's also sponsored by AC Black, India's best art Indian made foreign liquor that will help, that will make you not care about the insects. <laughs> that is horrible. Okay, I'm gonna hold it. They can't, it's not gonna bite me. No, no, it's not gonna bite you. Look at the fucking size of it. Oh my goodness. Can you eat it raw? No, we're, we're gonna cook it in bamboo. We're gonna cook it inside a piece of bamboo. Yeah. Yellow next to black, stay back. Which means don't touch it, probably. No. It's like, eat me. Is... <laughs> I was not expecting you to do that right now. See, look at those fangs. It's trying to bite me. It's trying to bite you. Yeah, but I'll just, what I'll do is that I'll just crush it like this. Oh, oh dude. So we're just gonna roast it. We're gonna roast it and we're gonna eat it? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Every moment in Nagaland, I just think like, this couldn't get any more wild. 
and then it gets more wild. Which way? Which way do we come from? No, this way. So this fellow's going to hell. He's going to go to hell. Sorry, Leech. There are many different ways to hunt and catch animals, but I've never seen it done this way before. This gentleman here has a battery a, is it a car battery? This gentleman here has a car battery strapped onto his back with wires coming from the battery on, onto a rod and there's a live current from the battery down the rod into the water, catch the fish, boom, done. Let's go and see how he does that. Nice, brother. Thank you. Wow. Wow, that's so much. Let's buy from them. No, they are just offering you that. Thank you so much. <laughs> can we give them some money? Benny, can we, is that okay? Just because I haven't got anything on me. No, they said they don't want the money. Thank you so much. So they're saying that uh, most of the fish they only caught during the night time. Okay. So during the uh, catching the fish during yeah. the daytime. So uh, it's not enough, but for you to taste, you know. Oh, it's a, oh, it's perfect. I can't believe it. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> These lovely people have been walking up and down this river, <laughs> catching fish with a car battery for the past two hours, and I met them, and they've just given me a big handful of the fish that they just met that they just that they just caught. And I'm so grateful. I'm constantly met with this just great, this kind, kindness and hospitality everywhere. And I'm so grateful. Such a peaceful life too, right? You and your wife, do you know what I mean? <laughs> hey, what should we do today? Let's get the car battery out. Yeah. Let's put it on the back Hot and let's go and catch some bloody fish. Hot chicken masala, chicken butter masala with naan. This is a banana leaf filled with... Not but a banana leaf. What kind of leaf, leaf is it? Like a normal Just leaf. a normal leaf. This is a normal leaf. Probably got about a hundred spiders on there. We're going to wash these, we're going to cook them up, and we're going to eat them. See, these are the jungle vegetables. These are the pumpkins and these bitter balls, and we have got these ferns here, over here. So we're going to cook this here, and got one jungle red, which we're going to cook in a bamboo tube as well. And there we are cooking another dish, which is uh, the spider. No. It's okay. Every time I meet someone, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're like, you've got to try the king chili. I go, I've already tried it, it's too spicy. They're like, no, just take a little bit. And then I eat it and it blows my head off. This is spiders. I'm going to just, I, I know that this is quite normal for you. What we've done is we've made a big pile of rice, a big pile of vegetables, and then we've thrown maybe a hundred spiders on top. Some nice jungle veg. This is the fern that we literally just picked from the jungle just then. This is rat meat, white rat meat, right? Yeah. Jungle, jungle, yeah. jungle rat. Yeah. You caught this in the jungle? Yeah. Fuck. These are legless spiders. Probably around 100 legless spiders just topped off of the entire meal. I don't know what it is about spiders, but I think the idea of eating them for me is quite difficult. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, sure. Because that's a spider uh -huh. and I'm supposed to eat it. And those two things don't go together very well. <laughs> Do you want the rats gizzards? You can have the gizzards. Think about rat, there's not much meat on rat, is there? Obviously, you all know Rennie. Rennie's a very good friend of mine, and we're going to be making a lot more stuff together. Roving Naga has his own YouTube channel where he shows real survival techniques around the jungles of Nagaland. Roving Naga, you've had a passion for survival mm -hmm. for a few years, right? Yes. How did you start doing that? I was a hunter once, and then I thought that maybe I could make videos and give knowledge to our youngster about our forest, about the jungle, and about how to survive in the jungle. So that, that, that was the only inspiration. So I think uh, 
our youngster needs to know more about our culture than others' culture. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. The important thing is that we should know more about our culture. Yeah. So without knowing your own culture, how can you go and act like you are someone else and uh, like trying to be some something else? Yeah. You're so right, dude. And and Nagaland is is such a small place, really, but with such a rich, interesting and unique culture and you're right as with all cultures it's getting lost and it's really important that we try our best to maintain as much culture as possible because it's not going to stick around for us if we lose sight of it you know and you're doing such a good job thank you so much for showing me what you've been showing me you too Rennie I mean you're going to see a lot more of Rennie and, and, and he's just one of my favorite people in the world but um Roving Naga, thank you for showing me and Rennie this incredible experience. Mm -hmm. We've both really, really thoroughly enjoyed it, haven't we? Thank you so much.